All right, so let's review. So here are the rankings so far. The rankings are Mommy slash Daddy, also known as S, Banger, also known as A, Coolio, also known as B, OK, also known as C, Meh, also known as D, Ew, No, also known as F, and what? Which is not really a good or a bad thing, it's just I'm baffled. I'm not looking for notes. So last we left off, I believe we were ba -ba -ba -ba, at Kogma, which is the Imbo Caterpillar. We already ranked this one. Look how cute it is. It's terrible. It is It is a Void Pog. It is, uh, it's my dog in League form. So let's uh, dive right back in to the League shenanigans. The, we're getting a Central Girl soon and the gay one. There's been some gay champions up in this bitch. I'm very glad. Okay. LeBlanc, that the coffee house from Persona 5. Gosh, okay. First of all, wow. I love me a girl in a cutout bodysuit. It, uh, it it fires off my neurons like you wouldn't fucking believe. Also, goth girlfriend aesthetics. I like that. She's very sexy. I get evil sorceress vibes already, which I love. Using her magic to mirror herself, the sorceress can appear to anyone, anywhere, and even be in many places at once. Oh, threesome material. So LeBlanc is evil. Evil sorceress, I like that. I mean, anyone, every, is everyone from Noxus like just evil? Oh, Corella the Bill! These are old, aren't they? Ooh, Ooh I'm, I'm obsessed with that. Yes, queen! Okay, yeah, no, that one's the best one. Like, I live for a fucking nymph. Is it just me or are all the IG skins the same? They all look the same. I think I've seen this, this design five times now. Remember when Cruella's mom got jumped by dogs? Oh yeah, wait, play the clip. Apparently Cruella DeVille's mom got killed by two Dalmatians and that's why she wants to uh, skin puppies, apparently. Fuck it. LeBlanc, I'm gonna put you into... Ah, uh, your goth girlfriend, so you're going to S. Lee Sin. Oh, Ninja. Kind of reminds me of like, uh, uh, what was his name? Jamie? Jaime from Street Fighter? But like, less swag, more just straight up kick. The amount of times I've seen, like, blind monk characters, like, it's been at least three or four of them if I count Toph. And, like, you know, you'd think, though, if you can't see shit, Ishtola, that you wouldn't be able to fight. Like, holy shit, that's like, if you want to fucking make somebody disabled, but still be able to fight, give them a fake leg. That's way more believable. Being blind in fiction is somehow a superpower. No. Let's see the skins! That one looks like Prince of per Persia. That one looks like it's from Street Fighter. For sure. That one also looks like it could be from Street Fighter. Beach time! Beach! The beach ones are hilarious. I love the beach ones. Okay, that one's stupid, but I love it. Ooh, that one's dope. That one I like. So what? So here's what you can do instead of giving them the dumb blindfold, because I do that all the time. Make the eyes glowy or just like an entirely weird color. I like how Ishtola does it, because her eyes are just milky, like white almost. Do something like that. Do something that makes the eyes look fucky. Don't hide them. Don't be a coward. That one's like evil daddy. That one's gold evil daddy. I like that there's power range. Why does he grow hair suddenly? Why do you have hair now? I don't like it. Make it delete it bald. All right, blind monk. You're gonna go into. You're okay. Yes, Marbuba. Radiant Dawn. Leona. Where does she have legs, or is that or just her stupid skirt thing? The armor is dope. I would like a tower shield that I could spear people with. Thank you. Without this armor, let's face it, just normal girl. Like if I was gonna draw a loot of this character, I would have to add the hair accessor the the hair accessories because. Otherwise, it's just like plain uh, brunette. The updated splash art is better. Her skin shimmers with star uh, fire while her eyes burn with the power of celestial aspect within her. Okay, she's the sun one. Armored in gold and bearing a terrible burden of ancient knowledge, Leona brings an enlightenment to some, death to others. Fuck me up! The sun gay girl is gay for the moon girl. Is she? I hope so. Okay, this one's more like... It, it's giving me like Saro's fire emblem vibes. I love that. I love the pool party ones. Okay, so she has like, she, okay, so she is a redhead. The lighting was just making me feel that her hair was brown. I love the fucking cookout skins. Like, holy shit, that's so fucking funny. That one's dope. That one's beautiful. No, I like the academy, the, the battle academy ones because they're just like anime school uh, skins. These are like badass lady times. I know it's Leona because of the tower shield. This color scheme fits her better. Oh, ooh, yes. Okay, like, the fucking Southern Belle aesthetic is something that I am absolutely obsessed with. So when I hear High Noon, I usually think cowboys, but, like, there wasn't just cowboys in cowboy movies. There was also, like, 1800-dressed ladies that had fainting couches and big foofy skirts and giant butts. Oh, that one's my favorite. Pink thing. Okay, Leona, I'm gonna put you in A. You a banger. Lilia. Oh, this is a centaur, isn't it? 
Oh, she's so fucking cute. Give me, like, the girls with the giant animal ears that resemble elf ears, and I'm so happy. Like, it's so fucking pretty. It's like a little baby deer. I actually really like these types of centaur characters that, like, they dress them very minimally in, like, leaves and shit, because I always feel like it lends itself to, like, the mysticism of the type of character. Side note, where's the Bashina? It must be in the front or the back, because she's covering it. Like, here's the thing with centaur girls, right? Whenever I design a Pokemusu, I have this existential question. If you do a centaur, where does the pussy go? Here's your answer. Do you want to fuck an animal? If the answer is yes, I'm not judging you, but I'm raising my eyebrows. Put it in the back. If the answer is no, put it in the front. She's probably from Ionia. Uh, incessantly, sh intensely shy, me. The Fae Fawn Lilia skittishly wanders Ionia's forest, I told you. Hiding just out of sight of mortals, whose mysterious natures have long captivated but intimidated her, Lilia hopes to discover the dream. Uh, their dreams no longer reach the ancient dream land, dreaming, dreaming tree. She now travels Ionia with a magical branch in hand, in an effort to find people's unrealized dreams. Only then can Lilia herself bloom and help others untangle their tr uh, fears to find their sparkle within. Yee! Hey, Wave, could you find the video of that deer that if they try to put it down, it screams that- Yeah, that's- that's this character. <coughs> Why would you make this adorable character fight anything? Oh, it's so pretty! It's kind of like, bye, yeah, but deer! No! You made evil, no evil deer! Yes, that one's so cute. Oh my god, the eyes are gigantic. Super fucking cute. Okay, Lydia, you're going to S. I'm not that shy because if I was that shy, I wouldn't even stream. Oh, Ebo Mommy next. I know this one because I've used her for like reference for Pokemusu in the past. Okay, first of all, that hat is goals. She has big shoulders, like 80s uh, fucking power shoulders. You guys know the ones, right? The ones from like Working Girl and shit. Yeah, like this, but Ebo. Getting Mewtwo vibes. Yeah, no, like. I was actually- I can't remember what Pokemon I used this one as reference for, but like I had it in the back burner when I was working on one of the more intimidating designs. But yeah, no, I love this- this thing. It, it has such a fucking like- it's such a vibe. She has an aura of palpable power that you can bear- that you don't really always see with evil ladies, because a lot of evil ladies fall within two categories. Ha! Or, uh, oh, I'm sexy, but evil, but more sexy. This one, you can feel that there's menace. <laughs> With the force of her black eyes, she does not. She does more than freeze. She impales and crushes those who oppose her. Race. Yeah, she's just mean. This one's so cool, though. This one reminds me of, like, a Kirby enemy, but, like, eviler. And with boobs. Future! Is this what, like, the evil guy from Terminator is like? If, if fucking Skynet looked like that, I welcome my robot overlords. This was my favorite one of her skins, for sure, because it, it's it's so mysterious and regal, and she has birds. This one's like, hey, look at my cosmic power, tremble. This one's like the porcelain set, I think, which is very pretty, very Chinese New Year. And it, of course, gold. And this one's just psychedelic, like, it's a lava lamp with hair. This gives me, like, big Daft Punk Discovery Interstellar uh, 5555 vibes, like, I love it. And I've used you for work before. You go in the S category. Married man. Oh, you, that dude does sound like he's married. Oh, this dude's a fucking badass already. What is he? Is that a gun? That looks like a fucking slab of salt that you slap the trigger on. It's a light gun. It's a salt gun. It's League. It's a salt gun. What that fucking hair do, though? That's super dope. Oh, oh, his wife is a champion, too? That's awesome. You gotta love a fucking healthy relationship that's both in the game full of toxic people. Lucien, Sentinel of Light, is a grim hunter undying of undying spirits, pursuing them relentlessly and allying them, when with the twin relic uh, pistols. After the Wraith uh, th uh, Thresh slew his wife, ooh, revenge, Lucien embarked on a path of vengeance, but then with her return to life, oh, 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 kill the stakes immediately, why don't you? Then when he returned to life, his rage is undiminished. Merciless and single-minded, Lucien will suffer nothing to protect the living from the long-dead horrors of the Black Mist. So, like, if you're gonna kill off a character for someone's backstory, don't bring them back to life right away. Oh, this one's, like, very, uh, steampunky, cyberpunky. I like it. Why? Oh, this one kind of reminds me of the fucking Overwatch one. What's his name? The ninja with the nice butt. This one's just, you know, what is this? Heartseeker, it looks like he's a dealer at a casino and he's gonna scam you out of all your money. Cowboy! Oh, this one's like, oh, ooh, ooh, I like this one. Scam me daddy, no. Oh, that one's super cool. The victorious, one are, the victorious ones are cool. That one, yes. Yeah. Okay, very daddy. Mercy should have been like a hulking black dude. Uh, 
changed my mind. You're gonna go in, so you're cool, you're coolio. Lulu, okay, we're going back to the fucking Yordles. This one's super fucking cute, though. Look at her. Like, the thing about the Yordles is that they're essentially like little fucking goblins of cheer, minus that one Yordle that's depressed. And their thing is to just be kind of manic episode, the character, in a good way. Like, I still remember Yops from, uh, the Maid Seeker, and I was very fond of her, so I like Yordles on principles. I love them, though. They have, like, they're kind of, like, almost- some of them are more furry than others, but, like, I've noticed that the girls tend to be significantly less furry, I wonder why, Riot. But yeah, Lulu's great, she has so much hair, I'm obsessed with it. The Yordle Mage, Lulu, is known for conjuring uh, dream dreamlike illusions uh, of and fanciful creatures as she roams Runeterra with her fairy companions. Uh, companion picks. Lulu shapes reality into a whim, warping the fabric of the world and what she views as, a, as constrained uh, of this mundane physical realm. While others might consider her magic as best at best unnatural and at worst dangerous, she believes everyone could use a touch of enchantment. So Lulu is a bit more dangerous than she seems, definitely. Don't fuck with reality. Anything that can bend reality is way too OP, if you ask me. Like, that shit's meant for anime villains that you're gonna have to cleverly defeat in 20 episodes. Fairy tale. And Demon Slayer. Oh, terrifying! Awful! Terrible! Uh, 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 I hate it. That one's really cute. That one's also very cute. Oh, Like, could we see her without the hat, though? I need to see how big her ears are. Like, is it just me or do Yordles have gigantic, uh, gigantic heads? Pool party! Oh, I love the Star Guardian Lulu. I've actually seen that one around. Uh, I can't remember where, but it was very cute. No, do not eat galaxies. Do not do that. That's bad, bad. I love that she's in the fucking sleep. The sleepover, but the pajama guardian ones are some of the cutest skins I've ever seen in League. It's super adorable. Again, big fucking, like, psychedelic galactic vibes. I love these. The space grooves. Gold! And just Pokemon. Deadass Pokemon. Super cute. Okay, Lulu, you're gonna go into, uh, you're cool, B. I still don't know if I would work with, with Yordles. I would have to give them the Lalafo treatment. Oh, my girl. Do we even need to ask? Like, do we even need to ask? I love Lux. I am dressed as Lux. She's literally one of the cutest fucking characters in this stupid game. And now that I played the Mage Seeker and I know more about her, it's 10 out of 10 adorable. Like, literally did nothing wrong. Lux is the best fucking adorable thing in the universe. I do, after playing the Mage Seeker, I do kind of ship her with Silas a little bit, little bit. Uh, maybe a little hate fucky, but in a good way. And she's just so fucking adorable! She has so many skins. Lux, I think, is one of the first League characters that I ever worked with, because I was calm to draw her way, way back in the day. Uh, and also, like, recently, like in the past year. So yeah, I'm very well acquainted with Lux. We played the Mage Seeker, which she had a decently big part in. So yeah, Lux is fucking adorable. I love her. Lux has a lot of skins, just FYI. Old! Deleted old. That one's really cute. Deal magic. No, I hate it. These are- oh god, that is- the shift in art style is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> oh, Star Guardian Lux is fucking adorable. Yes, I love that one. That's so pretty. Also, I find it fun that, like, these skins aren't just, like, the drawing of the character standing around in the skin the way that it, it tends to be. Like, in Gachas, right, whenever there's, like, a character that has, like, a different skin, they're just- it's just another little illustration of them, like, full body. But in League, they make, like, these painted, uh, illustrations besides the fucking 3D models, which- big commitment on Riot's part. Adorable. I love her. She looks so fucking cute. I like her blonde better, though, if she probably has a- she probably has a blonde one with a prestige one. Nope, just hair down, I guess, bitch. Big Sailor Moon vibes. Destroy me, mommy. Oh, that one's so pretty. I prefer the 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 cosmic lux uh, to the spa uh, to the dark cosmic lux. It's, it's so pretty. Look how cute that is. She has space bonds. You know what that reminds me of? Atomic Betty. Does anybody remember Atomic Betty? Oh, look how adorable that is. I do prefer. Oh, that's amazing. I do prefer Lux as a blonde. Lux is S tier, and she goes right behind my girl Ari. Why? Why? Shard of the Monolith. I... I mean, this is the most, like, boy character in the universe. Like, could you, what do you want to fight as? A rock! I don't think anything is gonna dethrone Ari. So far, nothing has. It's literally a rock. It's, it's like, you carved this out of a mountainside and you gave it a face. Congratulations. Wow, so edgy. He used his tremendous elemental strength to maintain and protect, uh, his progenitor, but ultimately failed. Haha. <laughs> Poor baby, but also it's a rock. He has some of the worst skins. Let's look at him. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's like a fucking like B tier comic book villain skin. This broccoli Malphite, yeah. This one's not that bad, but it has to be. Ha it has to have been shrunken down significantly, right? That one's cool. That one's cool. 
That one gives me the fucking Earth Titan from Hercules vibes. The one that spewed lava. Ice, that one's really cool. I don't even know what this is. They, it, like, is it like space travel? This is just a fucking black hole mounted on a frame, mama. It's just gold. That one's really dope, and that one I would have- I would ride on its shoulders into battle. Same with that one. Monkey! I'm gonna put you into- what? Malsahar. It kind of looks like the super tall elf dudes in Elden Ring that use gravity magic, but more edgy. Malzahar. It looks kind of like one of the carapaces from Homestuck, if that makes sense. They look little living chess pieces. A zealous seer dedicated to the uh, unification of all life, Malzahar truly believes that the new emergent void to be the path of Runeterra's salvation. No. In the desert waste of Shurima, he followed the voices that whispered to his, in his mind, we need to go see your therapist for that. You don't follow the voices. I mean, ruined immediately. Ruined immediately. Well, you took a super fucking cool dude that looks overworldly and spooky scary and just made it a person. The Ass Creed. No, these are old. Because, like, there's a fucking difference between- Oh, that's tragic. There's, like, a fucking difference in older and newer digital painting. Older digital painting doesn't have such well-established values. Like, when you're painting something digitally, you guys, what people do nowadays is that you have your sketch and you start painting in black and white first so you can get a really crisp and uh, clear sense of light and dark in a picture. Older digital paintings like this didn't have such precise blending tools and ability to do that, so it looks unpolished. It looks really unpolished. See, the new ones, though, look at the difference. Look at the shading. It, it looks way better render-wise than the old skins do. Why? Oh, that one's dope. A bee! I like the fucking, like, emerald, the debonair slash emerald city type of skins, because they're all, like, daddy for some reason. They're all super sexy. What is that? Or is that dude holding a, ba a baseball bat? Mazahar, I'm gonna put you in, uh, you're okay. You can tell me additional lore. I may or may not listen to it. The Twisted Tree and Maokai, a tree! Like, tell me this isn't the mountain dude we just saw, but wood. Once a peaceful of nature spirit, Maokai now furiously battles to banish the scourge of, uh, of unlife from the Shadow Isles and restore his home to its former uh, beauty. So like, is there any fucking champion that doesn't have a tragic backstory? Is there anybody who was just like, yeah, I'm cool. I like Fire Tree, but it seems counterproductive. Ooh, the Tiki one is amazing. I would not like to run into that if while I was riding a boat. Oh, okay, yeah. That one's is the bomb.com. I would have this. I would have, if I played League and I used this character, I would just exclusively use the Christmas tree skin. I've asked this before and I'm gonna ask it again. Why? That one's cute though, that one's cute. That one is less tree and more temple. That's precious. Oh, I love that, like, Maokai is the giant dude and all those- Oh, Darks- that's a team name for League, right? Like, those were made after the world winners? Same with IG and SKT. Oh! Lore! You're gonna go into, uh, meh. Looking at your tier list, I notice there is very few characters in your F tier category. That's gonna be the thing, right? There's gonna be few characters in your S or F tiers, and a lot of characters in the middle. Master Yi! Okay, I don't like this. This one's just like a scrawny dude with a fucking braid beard. I don't have a lot to say about this one, because like... What have we not seen before at this point? Samurai dude, probably from fucking uh, Ionia. Protect his homeland, yada yada. Master Yi Yi ass, fuck this loser. Oh! He's like the token Asian sword guy. Yeah, it like... All of the Ionian dudes are exactly the same. It's the same fucking guy with a different design. Dead ass. It's the same fucking design, it's like, I protect my homeland, my mind and my body are steel, and one, and zen, ah! That's it, that's the fucking Aeonian dudes, I'm sorry, like, like, this is boring, I'm bored! All of the interesting characters have been from, like, Piltover Zon, or, like, not. Anyway, I don't care. Let me see your skins. I don't care, I'm not reading, I'm not finishing this, it's all the same as the other Aeonian dudes. You have to read two sentences. Okay, wow, ninja. Wow, space ninja! Wow, ninja! Ugh. Genji, like, it's a ninja. It's more ninja. Fifty. That one's kind of daddy though. Fifty billion ninja, like snowman ninja, uh, bloodborne ninja, future ninja, kind of daddy. Oh, okay, the debonair ones are super sexy. I like all of them. Good job. But that doesn't even look like him anymore though. That just looks like a hot guy. That one's dope. That one's dope. And the uh, more ninja. Oh, uh, you're going into... Ew, no, I'm bored. Milio! Oh, look how cute he is. This is like magical Asian Dora the Explorer. 
Instead of a monkey, you get like fucking fire spirits and a fucking yee ass backpack. It's super adorable though. I actually really like the fire spirits. They're super cute. I love how fucking butt hurt the chat gets. I'm yes, I'm insulting all of these characters. I don't play League. I don't care. Um, let's see. Milo is a warm-hearted boy from Ixtal. Oh, he's not from Ionia. Okay, so there's two regions that are uh, that are actually like mystical magic, which is Ixtal and Ionia. I think I Ixtal is like the Aztec coded region. I guess you could say. Who has, despite his young age, mastered the fire axiom and discovered something new: soothing fire. With his newfound power, Emilio plans to help his family escape their exile by joining the Yuntai, just like his grandfather once did. He's a baby. He's a baby. Two skins. That's precious. That's the child got, that got kidnapped by a fae at, like, babyhood and doesn't even know that he's human. It looks like a legally not Pixar character. Yeah, it does. Emilio... Oh, where are you? Where did I put it? Oh. You're gonna go... It, meh. It's a fetus. Okay, this is actually fun fact of the two League games I've played in my life, I use this character. I have seen Misfortune's new splash art, and may I just say that in both of these, this woman looks like she can take three dicks at once and not even break a sweat. Semen demon. Semen demon. Like, it's like Jessica Rabbit, Pirate Queen. It's like one of the best designs for me, like the only League character I've ever used, ever. Uh, I didn't even know what I was doing, but I do remember that I picked her because, uh, taught booba. This woman knows what she's doing. She's blowing on that gun like she's gonna blow on your fucking dick, bitch. Like, she's aware of her scales, okay? Look at her. A Bilgewater captain, famed for her looks, I'll say, but fear for her ruthlessness, Sarah Fortune paints a stark figure among the hardened criminals of the port city. As a child, she witnessed the Beaver King, uh, Gangplank murder her family. Ooh. An act that she brutally avenged years later, blowing uh, up his fra uh, flagship while he was while he was still aboard. <laughs> oh shit! Those who underestimate her will face a beguiling and unpredictable opponent, and likely a bullet or two in their guts. Seamen, demon. I love her. So I was assume Miss Fortune has a decent amount of skins. Like all, I love how all of these are tit focused somehow. Ugh, Queen Uba. There she is. There she is. Yeah, that's Jessica. That's just Jessica Rabbit, but with purple. This woman, like, holy shit, like, misfortune is what happened if a fucking pit-up girl gains sentience and becomes a fucking ruthless murderer. She's fucking gorgeous ass. Look at those titties! Like, she looks like she could go into Skullgirls right now and not even fucking look out of place. Oh! Okay, this one is, like, the best tits. I want to stick my head in there. Get in there and brrr, like, bitch, that is so fucking good. This one has less fat tits, but it's still very sexy. So I love that, like, part of the thing that people talked about with Miss Fortune is like, oh, she pretty. Yeah, she's pretty, but she's gonna fucking kill you. Pool party! She just shot someone in the dick with that gun. The Star Guardian's like, look how big her tits are, please. Like, her fucking little magical guardian thing is so adorable. She's so fucking cute. Like, even in her pajamas, it's like, wow, this woman is sexy. I am not gonna play League anytime soon. I value my sanity. Oh, okay, Ruin King. Was this one brainwashed by the hot guy that I like? Because I've seen porn of that, actually. Not very wholesome porn, by the way. But the tits, though. Oh, that is really... Okay, I have to commend this artist, because, like, drawing perspective shots like this is not easy, so good job. Booba! Bayonetta gonna suck your dick under a church pew nun. I love her. Like, I'm sorry, Ari, but the Miss uh, Fortune Dethrones you, just because she's the only lead character that I actually have used in the past. And she's super sexy, and I want to catgirl her someday. We won! Yeah, big tits! More the Kaiser! The Iron Revenant. Is this another, like, reanimated corpse? Mountain? What is it? What magic cursed thing is this? Leak has a lot of these. Shadow Daddy time. I mean, the design is dope. This is giving me, like, Iron Darth Vader, Lich King, uh, fucking... This is, like, this is very, actually, very World of Warcraft, actually. <laughs> oh, this is the dude that's under Noxus? Oh, right! Necrit made a video about him, I think. Few now remain to remember his uh, earlier conquests, of, or know the true extent of his powers, but there are some ancient souls that do, and they fear that the day may re return to claim dominion over both the living and the dead. Ooh, evil, evil daddy. Shovel knight, but evil. Hell yeah, death metal! God, that's so fu- that's such a good illustration. I love the Dark Star skins, they're so fucking, like, grandiose for no good reason. Daddy! No, wait, it's the asshole in the back. Daddy is the one in the front. Well, I almost did not notice Mordekaiser because I was distracted by man titty. A cowboy? Kind of. Ish. Okay, that is really cool. But no face and no man titty. You're gonna go into- you're okay. 
Are you guys having fun? I'm having so much fun. Morgana, I mean, we know and love Morgana. She was in the Mage Seeker, so we know what her deal is. She's fucking beautiful. She's not as psychotic as her sister. And she was a hard fucking boss fight. If I had to pick between Normie Girlfriend and Goth Girlfriend, like Panty and Stalking, I go Stalking all the way. So Morgana is always going to be my choice between the two of these idiots. Also, Morgana won't kill me just for existing. Morgana will at least judge me fairly. I'll die anyway. All right, let's read though. Like I do, I have talked about Morgana in the past, but let's read. Conflicted between her celestial and mortal natures, Morgana bound her wings to embrace humanity and inflicts her pain and bitterness upon the dishonest and the corrupt. She re uh, rejects laws and traditions that she believes are unjust, most of Demacia, and fights for truth until under, under the shadows of Demacia, even as others seek to repress it. By cast casting shields and chains of dark fire, more than anything else, Morgana truly believes that even the banished and uh, outcast may one day rise again. So Morgana and Silas is another ship that I kinda sort of like, cause she would give him so much shit. Ride that dick and scold him. Dude, hot. <laughs> Oh no, those poor cookies! The tits, though. Booba. Look, I like nothing more than, like, fucking tight, squeeze booba into latex or the fucking really low cut tops. That's beautiful. Lyria, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It does kind of resemble the, the outfit that I put my wool in constantly. <laughs> Go back to the chef when she looks like Lyria. This is Lyria trying to bake anything. It ran away from her. Super fucking pretty. Oh, yes, void mommy. That is fucking uh, beautiful. They should make a Mage Seeker skin, like... Whoa! The, look at the tits. Also, like, fucking League artists, like, I'm gonna have to say this. Whoever makes the models, I need y'all to fucking give the artists that make these splash arts. Uh, this is her cup size, draw her boobs this big. Because the amount of inconsistency between splash art is really fucking making my eyelids twitch. See? No tits. But two fucking skins before, giant tits. This one's beautiful. Beautiful! I, like, I love the crystal aesthetic. Something about, like, the pink and the blues and, like, very light icy colors. Just neuron activation. That's why I like March 7th's color scheme so much. Ah! Oh! That looks like a fucking boss in, like, a Mario RPG. Or, like, you know, like, the, the, the god robes from Kill la Kill? Yeah, it looks like she's wearing one of them. Oh, this is just so beautiful. Who is she fucking- who is she- whose soul is she sucking out of his body? Morgana is also S-tier, but she's not as high up as my girl, Misfortune. So I mean, furry? The Hound of a Hundred Bites, Nafidi. This is just a dog, but like a mean dog. Look at those teeth. What that mouth do? Like, this is just a mean fucking dog, which has like robot arms and big shoulder pads. It is a call of the Dune Hounds, voracious predators who form packs and compete for the right to hunt in these uh, barren lands. Among them, one pack starts above all, for they are driven by not only the ca their canine instincts, but by the ancient power of the Darkin. So, evil dog? It's a female dog? Is this a bitch? Dog, you're gonna go into- you're okay. If they had made that more anthro, I would be more behind that. But it's just a dog. NAMI! Okay, this is another one. Deep kinky mation lore that I've drawn such a long time ago. Like, I drew NAMI once, and I drew her, like, on a sushi platter, I think? I love her design. It's fucking beautiful. I, you guys know that I like mermaids, so... How do her boobs work? Why do fish have booba? Don't think about it. Don't worry about it. She's so fucking cute! Oh, look at that. That's so precious. She's so beautiful, and like, all the skins for Nami are gonna be great, because like, her hair is fins, like, she's a very- she's- she's a less human mermaid. Like, if I had to give him say that this type of- type of mermaid is just like, mainly fish. It's more Zora and less Little Mermaid. Oh, psychedelic. How are you on land? Why are you not dead? Oh, terrifying. 10 out of 10. Wood. That is so pretty! Oh, this is more like a traditional mermaid, I guess you could say. She doesn't have as fishy features. This is so beautiful. Oh! Space mermaid! I love it! Witch mermaid, also love it. I don't like the hair on this one that much. It does remind me of Pauline, though. So S tier easy. Oh, yeah. Nasus. Oh, wood. Yeah, wood. Anubis daddy. Uh, yeah, 10 out of 10. Mon the fu monster fucker within me is pleased. Also, I love Egypt anything, and this is like a very fucking strong Egypt aesthetic. Uh, suck a dick. I love this thing. He was a guardian of knowledge and peerless... Str uh, strategies whose wisdom guided the ancient empire of Shurima to greatness for many centuries. <gasps> Does he work with Bird Daddy? Can I get sandwiched between that? Yes! Okay, yeah, sandwich me before between Nasus and Bird Daddy. 10 out of 10. Love it. Wood. That one's less buff, but it, it looks like an Animal Crossing character. It's like if KK uh, got a fucking pharaoh hat. Yeah, this is all old. It's not as polished as the new 3D art. No. Wood. <laughs> I love that. That looks like those pictures of dogs playing cards. Yas, queen! Fuck me up! Oh, god. 
Yes, yes, I accept. It's KK Nasus, yes. Okay, I don't want to fuck the machine. It That's just a Shiba with big muscles. Yes, wood, fuck me up. Okay, Nasus goes right behind Bird Daddy on the S tier list. Fuck it, wood. The amount of things that I've been willing to like fucking go to bed with in these fucking react streams has been concerning. What is that? What is that? That's like a fucking, that's like a diving suit with eyeballs. What the fuck is that? What, what, what do you mean we would? Wave. I love how Wave, when he edits this, he's just gonna put like, I would fuck this if we disagree on something. I would not fuck that. It used to be a man. Didn't most things in the fucking Dead Sea or whatever used to be men? It's a not like, there's not enough ocean water to quench that thirst. Th no. It's so stupid! Amgi. That one's kind of dope. Ooh, so it's a kaiju. You're gonna go into, what? Ooh, 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 I know this one. Oh God, I know this one. This is so fucking cute. So one of like the few League cinematics I've seen has been with like the Star Guardians version of this character. She's so fucking cute. You guys know how much I like a good monster girl. And like this girl is Liz Ord. She's lesbian? Oh good, I have a chance. Uh, she's so adorable. Like the giant eyes and the colorful hair, like she looks, she looks a like perfectly alien, but not too much. So I really like Nico. She's super fucking cute. Hailing from a long lost tribe of Bastaya, Nico can blend into any crowd by borrowing their appearance of others, even absorbing something of their emotional states to tell friend from foe in an instant. No one ever sure is ever sure where or who Nico might be, but those who intend to be her do her harm will soon witness her true colors revealed and feel the full power of her primordial spirit magic unleashed upon them. She's so cute. Look at her little baby hands and her little tail. I love her. Base Nico, adorable. Oh, that's so cute. The Star Guardian one is super fucking cute. Adorable, 10 out of 10. Gold. Oh, I love that. It looks like a fucking goddess. Cat, yes, approved. I really like her because like it's like reptile, but much squishier, cuter. I'm gonna put you in uh, S tier also, but you're gonna go uh, behind uh, ba -ba 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 Ash. Oh, ooh, okay, Unga Boonga. Unga Boonga! Immediately Unga Boonga. Like, this woman could probably claw me over, over the head and I thank her. Like, holy shit, that's raw sex appeal right there. Look at that. Dude, look at the tits. This this girl looks like she's from, like, one of those old Hollywood movies where there were cavemen, but they were sexy cavemen because nothing could be, like, fucking historically accurate ever back in the day. So, like, it's kind of like, give me old Hollywood glam cavewoman, and I love it. Yeah, this is death by Snoo Snoo in the best of, day of days. Raised in the deepest part of the jungle, Nidalee is a master tracker who can shapeshift into ferocious cougar at will. Okay, so she can do the Bayonetta thing where she turns into a tiger. Neither holy woman nor beast, she viciously defends her territory from any and all of trespassers. With carefully placed traps and deaf spear throws. Thanks for the follow. Uh, she, cripple, she cripples her quarry before pouncing on, on them in feline form. The lucky few who survive the, tell the tale of a wild woman with razor sharp instincts and even sharper claws. What? I'm trying to see if I can find the new splash art. Because apparently the one that's up on the website is old. They haven't updated all of them for some reason. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, no, this is a significant upgrade. Like, that is so fucking pretty. I was gonna put her in the A tier, but the cat ears just make it 10 times better. 10 out of 10! We love an actual cat girl. Oh, that's Nico, actually. That's so fucking pretty. Gay, gay, homosexual, gay. All right, let's look at the skins. Face needily. Like, I'm sorry, but this is just slutty caveman Halloween costume for Christmas. That's all this is. Wood. Oh, absolutely wood. More wood! Ooh, this one has- she has Mikote markings. Does she have cat ears too? Like, this is just a 14. This is just someone's wool. Dude, that one's really cute, but like, where are the cat ears at? That looks like it has cat ears and I appreciate it. Eyebrow- powerful eyebrows. Oh, that's like fucking uh, Coachella, Nita Lee. I love her. Kitty that's adorable. Yes. Okay, yeah, she's going S tier. And pretty high up there, too. Predictable. I like cat girls. Eat a dick. Nyla. Oh, she's cute. Her hair is kind of confusing, but I, li I love this design. Nyla is an ascendic warrior from a distant land, seeking the world's deadliest, most titanic components so that she might challenge and destroy them. Having won her power through an encounter with the long-imprisoned demon of joy, she has no emotions other than being than unca unceasing jubilation. That's disturbing. So she's actually cursed to just be happy? Can she never feel anything else? God, that sounds horrifically. She seems to be like a very new character though. I'm gonna put you in uh, Coolio. The other games keep giving her skins and that League doesn't get- No! Nocturne, uh, Black Panther. The Eternal Nightmare. This is Venom, right? 
After freeing itself from the uh, spirit realm, Nocturne descends upon the waking world. It feeds upon the kind of terror that can only uh, thrive through darkness. Ooh, edgy, edgy. Gonna cut yourself with that edge, edgy. Just edgy. It's just shadows. That, okay, that one's stupid. That, you can tell that's an old skin because it's stupid. <laughs> that looks dope. So I'm gonna put you, you're meh. Nunu and Willow. Ice climbers. That is fucking adorable. That is so fucking cute. That's a little boy. Tell me that the little boy doesn't look like the baby from Ice Age. It's super cute though. Once upon a time, there was a boy who wanted to prove that he was a hero by say, uh, slaying a fearsome monster, only to discover that the beast, a lonely and magical yeti, merely needed a friend. That's like a children's storybook story. They hope that somewhere out there they will uh, find Nunu's mother. If they can save her, maybe they will be heroes after all. Oh, That's super cute. Where's the baby? Oh, do you want to see the Ice Age baby? No. There he is. See, these are like the champions for the actual fetuses that try to play League and leave crying two matches later. The B1 is so precious, I want one. I'm gonna put you in, uh, meh. I don't dislike the design, but like, it's just a baby. Olaf, big Viking. I mean, this dude's a whole fucking mood. However, I will say this is very stereotypical banking. There's nothing in this design that makes me go, oh, wow, this character. Like, I'm pretty sure I will forget Olaf, like, in two days. If this is old Splasher and he has a new one, please send me the new one. But like, this is so forgettable. It's not even funny. That like, this isn't even like an interesting character design. It's just like, if you type Viking into Google, you'd get the spl this splash art. And you can tell that's an old champion because the digital painting is not as polished. An unstoppable force of destruction, the axe-wielding Viking that's just a generic Viking wants nothing to do but die in glorious combat like a Viking, hauling from the usual fair lord like a Viking, peninsula of Viking. He once received a prophecy forestalling his peaceful passing as a Viking, a coward's fake because he's a Viking, and a great insult among his people, a Viking. Seeking death, fueled by rage and Viking, he rampaged across the land, slaughtering scores of great warriors like a Viking, and legendary beasts like any Viking would, in search for an opponent who could stop him like a Viking. Now a brutal Viking of the Viking's claw, he seeks to end the, the, uh, the end in the great wa wars to come like a Viking. <laughs> That's all it is! It's just a fucking Viking on fire! Dude! It's like, hey, how do we make a fucking hell skin? Just give him devil horns and put him in fire. Eat the bike, eat the Viking fire. There you go. Broloff! Okay, this one I like. This one I fuck with. I like this one. Broloff. This is that dude in the frat house that has been in college for 10 years. But is Olaf a Viking, Lily? Yes. This dude has been in the frat house for 10 years. His name is oh, his name is Broloff. Nobody knows when he joined, and nobody knows if he's ever gonna graduate. He popped two collars. It's un papire. I mean, he kind of belongs in there. He's a Viking. It's edgy Viking. Oh, yes. Like, I'm memeing on Olaf because his design is generic as tits, but like, I do, I do enjoy the memory. Oh, oh, this is just cyberpunk biking. This looks like it would, could be in uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Oh yeah, that one's kind of a daddy though. The newer skins make him more of like a daddy. He shares a dorm with his son. <laughs> you're so generic, I'm gonna put you in, in, you're okay. You're okay because the fucking meme skins are funny, but like, you're so generic, dude. Robot? Rotusi. So I don't know if I would because I don't want to fist the android, but. She has claws and she's like split in half. Like, I do like it when designers go all out with the robot waifus. Cause like, I love Tubi. I do, but she's a fucking human. It's an android and her ass weighs 900 pounds. No, Yoko Taro, you fucking horny coward. If you're gonna make a robot, make a robot. Like, I still like this design very much. So it's very pretty. Still would, still would. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good design. Once a curious girl of flesh and blood. Oh. Oriana is now a technological marvel, complete entirely, complete entirely by clockwork. Is she from Piltover? She became gravely ill after an accident in lower districts of Zon. Okay, she's from Zon. Oriana is now free to explore the wonders of Piltover and beyond. Okay, so she was from Zon and she got taken to Piltover. I figured as much. She looks like she's made from Hextech. The, the, tragic, tragic, tragic. God, that looks so bad. Yeah, it looks like Valora. Oh, no, ironic gagging. That one's a little better, but still kind of fucky. Why t-shirt though? That's not even a robot anymore. Kind of. She's ball jointed, but that's it. Uh, how? I mean, that one's the coolest one, I think, but like, it doesn't look like her at all. This one is probably my favorite. Look how cool that is. Pool part. How are you not electrocuting everybody? Oh, she works with clockwork. She's fine. Very cute. I like the ones where she doesn't have a waist. That's just a human. Like, coward, cowardice. You can make a magical girl robot and it would be so cool. I'm gonna put you in the just, that, that one's probably very, this is very meh to me. Orn. 
What is that? What is that? Please don't tell me that's like a giga buff Yordle or I'm gonna lose my shit. No, he's huge, he's not a, a Yordle. I love the horns. Those are the types of horns that if I drew on a character and I still live with my parents, my mom would be like, El Diablo! And she'd fucking put holy water on my drawings because that's hell. No, this dude's like ripped 10 ways from Tuesday. That like, this dude could give the Baki people a run for their money. I do know that there's like a Baki Obama. Okay, Orn is the Freelordian spirit of forging and craftsmanship. He works in the sol uh, solitude of a massive smithy, hammered out from the lava caverns beneath the volcano hearth. Baki makes Jojo seem tame. Oh shit. There he stokes bubbling cauldrons of molten rock to purify ores and fashion items of unsurpassed quality. When other deities, uh, especially Volbear, walk the earth and meddle in mortal affairs, Orm uh, arises to put these impetuous beings back in their place, either with his trusty hammer or the fiery power of the mountains themselves. I really like this dude. The horns are very like El Diablo. Yeah, no, this design is really weird. Yeah! I don't know what this is, but I like it. I like Space Crew is just lava lamps. Okay, you're gonna go, uh, I think the design for that dude is really cool, so you're gonna go in Coolio. I wonder if we're gonna finish this today. Look at all the fucking dipshits we have to go through. There's also Baki Bush and Hillary and Trump. No, oh, Pixar didn't happen. No fucking way. No, I refuse to believe that. Ooh, this one is kind of ripped. Literal Spartan. Yeah, this dude's just a Spartan, but like, it's a Spartan, but it does have some design to it. If that is, It's not like the Viking dude, which is just a Viking. I already forgot his name. That's how fucking forgettable that dude is. Uh, oh wait, it's Olaf, because I remember Broloff. There you go. But this dude's like a spirit Spartan. I don't know what, I, I love it when like people draw men and they make that little slouch that just shows off the muscles. Like that shit gets me going something awful. I hate it. Daddy annihilate me a little bit. A little bit annihilate me. Like this dude's kind of super fucking hot. Like, is there a face under that helmet? Once an unwilling host to the aspect of war. Oh, okay. So he climbed the mountain. Altius now opposes the divine as Pantheon reborn. His unbreakable will uh, fueling the fallen aspect's weapons on the field of battle. So is he a god or not? Literally too angry to die. Hold on. Oh, 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 that is tragic. That is generic Spartan. How come my bro Broloff doesn't have a new fucking splash art that's not generic? Cause this is generic as fuck. This is like what people dress up as Halloweens. Like when Spartan was a thing, I can guarantee you like in, in at least in Mexican Halloween parties, 50 dudes showed up as this. I'm so glad, the new one is so much better. Oh, look at that. Look at the rendering on those. This is like Kratos, but nicer. Uh, look at the rendering on those muscles, Jesus. No, another thing. The League artists don't just have titty inconsistency, they have man muscle inconsistency. Just get the same artist for all of these, Jesus. Yeah! Okay, but like, how many of the League champions have been dude in helmet? How many League champions have been dude in armor? I'm kind of bored, League. It's some fucking type of dude in armor. I like this one. Oh, that one's dope! If that's what he looks like, fuck me up, yes. Ashen Conqueror. There's so many fucking dudes in helmets. I like the dude in helmet, but with no shirt. You're gonna go, uh, you're okay. Oh, another Yordle! God, she's so cute. Keeper of the hammer, this is Poppy. The Yordle ears make me so happy, but like, am I insane that the boy Yordles look more furry than the girl Yordles? Like the girl Yordles have like anime cafes and the boy Yordles are like, look at this fucking animal. Just make all of them look like Muppets. Or make them both look human E. Like, if these are supposed to be, like, the dwarves of the League universe, because people are going to want to play as Yordles when the MMO comes out, just make them cute. I like how cute Poppy is, though. She has old splash art, I think. I'm going to go look for it. <laughs> okay. 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 This is fucking ugly. If fogly was a word, you would find this in the dictionary. What the fuck? It looks like a Cabbage Patch Kid. This is like... What? It's a <laughs> an angry Cabbage Patch Kid. I hate it here. Oh my God, nightmare for you all. I hate it here. Okay. But look at that. Look at that glow up. You know what? I'd rather have them be a little anime cat eye face. That's adorable. It's so nightmare, 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 nightmare. nightmare, 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 nightmare. nightmare. Like, oh, look how cute she is. She has little, little baby teeth. Runeterra has no shortage of valiant champions, but few are as tenacious as Poppy, bearing the legendary Hammond as of Orion, a weapon twice her size. This determined Yordle has spent untold uh, years searching for a secret in search for the fabled hero of Demacia, said to be its rightful wielder. Until then, she deliberately changes uh, charges into battle, punishing ba pushing back the kingdom's enemies with every uh, whirling strike. So, does Demadi Demacia not have an issue with Yordles? Because aren't they like super magic? Alright, Poppy. Super fucking cute. This is if Poppy was evil. 
Oh, I love Beeble Poppy. Big ears. Lolly Poppy, that's- look at the snaggle tooth. That's the rework for this ugly piece of shit. Look how, how much cuter it is. Ew. Precious. That's so good. Oh, that's so precious! It's Annabelle Poppy. The only thing that bothers me about Yordles is their proportions. If their head was not that big, but they were like dwarf size, I would really not have so much of an issue with them. I do love her design though. It's super fucking cute. Oh, precious. Now, Poppy, I think, is gonna be like my one Yordle that goes into S because her design is fucking adorable. But she's like at the bottom tier of S though. Because Yordles are probably not gonna be something I'm gonna be able to work with, but I still love her. Only Yordle in S so far. Is this another edgy dude in armor? Oh, it's another one. Otro. Dude, I'm bored. Is, are you from uh, the fucking uh, Ruin King or like you're from Bilgewater? I can see that, but how many of these are there? And a city that prides itself on hunting monsters now finds a monster hunting them. He, I feel like he was in the Ruin King because he has the color scheme. Like you can tell if someone's from Bilgewater because they have like a pirate aesthetic or very greeny lighting. This is just like your typical mask bad guy fucking punchy punch. That one's pretty cool though. Oh, ooh. Please, that color scheme makes me so happy. The Soul Fighter ones have a really cool art style. That one's better. I mean, this one's kind of mad to me because it, 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 nothing about it stands out. This just kind of goes to show that dudes need better drip because I can remember almost every girl character in this fucking game and there's at least three dudes that I'm like, who is that one? Oh, brat, brat, brat. Needs brat taming immediately. I love her. That is the face of someone that needs to go fucking deep throat a dick and learn her lesson. Cause like, bitch. She has like a face, like, se ve mamoncísima. Like she looks so stuck up, I love it. She's a brat, how could you tell? Body language and expression. Jesus, Lily, what? She has really nice hips though. I, I remember seeing her in the True Damage uh, music video and I love the design for that. She looks like a little shit, she does, I love it. In the jungle city of Ixokan, Kiana plots her own ruthless path to the high seat of the Yuntai. Last in line to succeed her parents, she faces those who stand in her way with brash confidence and unprecedented uh, mastery over elemental magic, so brat. And by that right, deserving of not only a city, but an empire. Okay, she is fucking full of herself, love it, 10 out of 10. Look at her, she's so pretty. You can have whatever you want, but you're gonna get spanked. She does have a true damage skin, oh, that's so pretty. God, we love a Latina queen. I mean, I like base Kiki also. Like, you're gonna go- you're gonna go in S tier. So far, I think that, like, I've found that the most unique character designs are either the girls or the dudes that are not warriors. Like, maybe it's because I know some of these characters better. For example, I can't forget Echo, I can't forget Silas, I can't forget, um... What was his name? Actually, never mind. <laughs> Lux's brother! I actually did forget, but he is a warrior type. There's so many warrior guys, anti-hero, monk dude, like, enchanted construct or statue or mountain. Like, Lee, you guys need to st either stop making champions or go looking for some new ideas or make more women. To be fair, you might be a tiny little bit biased. Why? Because I like women? Lily just wants to be public enemy number one in the League community. I mean, I if I wanted to be a public enemy in the League community, I would just play League. While there are some ladies that are a little bit generic, I find that it's less so. For example, I will give you this one. Uh, Evelyn has the same type of vibes as like LeBlanc and uh, Morgana. Like there are there are some generic things, but like I found that the most generic character in League of Legends is Man in Armor. Ooh, Quinn. Okay, this one kind of reminds me of the other Morgana sister. What was her name, Kale? That one's very, uh, very cool. I do, I do like the Heartseeker skins. They're very pretty. This one just looks like, uh, Kale. Oh, Star Guardian, everything is beautiful. Yeah, Quinn seems like a very old... You can tell that when, when, a, when a character is older, because I, you're gonna go, you're, you're cool, you're cool, yo. Uh, you can tell when a League of, Her of Legends character is old, because their design is more generic. I think that, like, in recent, uh, champions, there's way more different things. And in recent skins as well, because the older League designs really are rather generic. Oh, Chad! This dude has like a girlfriend in game. Chad Bird Boy. I love him. Rakan. Power couple of League. One of the few people that I know for a fact is a ship in League. Like the other reason I don't draw League that much is because I don't know who to draw these people with. Dude, like that dude, he's looking at that Birdly like, yeah, I'm gonna hit that later. 10 out of 10, I'm gonna hit that later. 
ears. Look at them. God, I love me some shippy splash art. Dude, you can tell that this fucking, that his wife gets fucking railed at least once a day. The way he's looking at her is like, that's pure lust, mama. It's so fucking cute. They're always together. Oh, I love the skin. The Star Guardian skin for these idiots is fucking adorable. Dude, you can tell that his, he fucking snaps her spine on a near daily basis. If they're not working together, their spines be snapped. I love that all of their splash art is together. Ugh, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need to draw her getting fucking snapped in half. You go into S tier because your wife is gonna go into S tier and I don't want to separate you. Oh, not Tortuga. Poido. Yeah, that's just a Koopa. It's cute, but like, that's just a turtle. Armadillo. Idolized by many, dismissed by some, me. Look at it, it's just a turtle. Oh, that's a Bowser skin. Okay, 10 out of 10. I told you guys it looked like a Koopa. Like, the old skins are so unfortunate, you guys. You, they need to fucking remake those, the splash art for those. Oh, I like the fiery turtle. That's just stupid. It's so stupid! 10 out of 10. What? Did you go into what? Rek'Sai! Oh, another one of these. Another fucking character design that I've seen, like, at least three times in League. Void thing. A million void thing. Monster. Ooh, spooky scary. That's a lady. I don't care. Still spooky scary. Don't, don't put her in a box. She's also massive. What Void Scent isn't? I'm bored. Void Scent. That's the fucking 14 one. Like, Void Thing. Ooh, spooky, scary, warm. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's just the fucking Leviathan in the background. That's too monster even for me. Ew. All right, Rel. This one, I think, is newer than most. Uh, I do remember when she was released, I did see some promotional material for her. Uh... Her horse is a machine, I think, and it is fucking cool as dicks. She's, she seems to be, like, part machine herself somehow. Her hair, I wonder how it stays up that way. Like, what anime magic are you using? How much hair gel? She's incredibly bisexual in voice lines, by the way. Based. Metal bender. Oh, okay. The product of brutal experiments at the hands of the Black Rose. Rel is defiance, living weapon determined to topple Noxus. Her childhood was one of mystery, misery and horror. Enduring unspeakable procedures to perfect and weaponize her magical control over metal until she staged a valiant escape, killing many of her captors in the process. Now branded as a criminal, Rel attacks Noxian soldiers on sites as she searches for survivors of her old academy, defending the meek while delivering violent deaths to her former overseers. She sounds like a badass, also Sag. Very pretty. Does not have a lot of skins, though. Because I think this one's newer. She's 16. She doesn't look 16, so I don't care. Does that look like a 16-year-old to you, my guy? If you need to look up the age, you're already fucked. I, I, I like your design, though. You're cool. What is this? Chem Baroness. Renata Glask. Big mommy. Oh, terrifying mommy. I love this. This this character design fucks. Like, I don't know why. A lady in a suit is just always dope, but like a strong lady in a suit. 10 out of 10. Chem mommy. Yeah, 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 yeah. She looks like... I love the pink. She's. I know for a fact that this girl is from Zone, though. Because look at the aesthetic. Look at the material, mama. That, that, that's Zone, 100%. Renata Glask rose from the ashes of her childhood home with nothing but her name and her parents' alchemical research. In the decades since, I hope she's in Arcane someday, by the way, she has become Zahn's wealthiest Cam Baron, a business magnate who built her power by tying everyone's interests to her own. Work with her and be rewarded beyond measure. Work against her and live to regret it. But everyone comes to her side, eventually. If they ever do, like, a time skip for Arcane, I hope she's in there. Mommy! She's less strong in that skin for some reason, I don't know why. The chemical she uses is so close to Shimmer in game too. Yeah, I, I really do hope she's in Arcane. You're gonna go, you're, that's a banger design, so I'm gonna put her up into, in banger. Fur, uh, oh, Gator, Florida. Oh, but I think this one's like the Egypt Gator. Oh, this is Nasus' brother, oh, dope. I would not fuck the alligator though. That's a little bit too much chomper for me. Uh, fuck me and bite my head off. Redekton is a terrifying, rage fuel ascended being from the scorched deserts of Shurima. Once he was his empire's most esteemed warrior, leading the nation's armies to countless victories. Did all of these assholes used to be humans? Now free once more, he is utterly consumed with finding and killing his brother, Nasus. No! Who he blames in his madness for the centuries he spent in darkness. So Nasus was, uh, not the bird, I think. It was the Anubis, I think, right? So, fun fact, the Anubis is tied very closely to a very to a crocodile deity in ancient Egyptian mythology because Anubis and this crocodile weigh people's souls to see if you can go to the afterlife. And if your heart is heavier than a feather, uh, if you were a bad person, the crocodile eats it. <laughs> so the crocodile being insane makes sense. Ebo Gator! Oh, 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 that was an unfortunate skin. Look at that, yeehaw! Like, that's Florida. That's what you see when you go to Florida. 
The one of these... Tell me, like, the last one didn't fucking scream Power Rangers villain at you. Oh! The pool party skins are the best. Look at it. It's just a T-Rex. And that was just, like, a little toy gator. That's adorable. Would you let him give you mouth to mouth? He would bite my head off for a bowl. Like, you're- you're- you're cool. It's, it's a dope design, regardless. I don't hear a yes or no. No! Drengar! Lion Daddy. He looks kind of insane, though, so let's- I'm gonna read up on it before I decide if would. Drengar is a ferocious Vestaya trophy hunter who lives for the thrill of uh, tracking down and killing dangerous creatures. He scours the worlds for the most fearsome beasts he can find, especially seeking any traces of Kha'Zix, the void creature who scratched out his eye. Ooh. Ooh, they have a history. Rengar also stalks his prey either for food or nor glory, but for the sheer beauty of the pursuit. So that's a real fucking lion then. Probably would not. Looks kind of crazy. It it's kind of like the Hrothgar from 14, but like meaner. Ah! Like that's really, like that's just <laughs> stupid. I like that there's like transformer versions. The onesies are fucking great. Whoever made the fucking cat skins needs a raise. And it's Katarina! Nice! Okay, Lion Daddy. You're gonna go... Uh, you're okay. Like, as far as lion, lion furry designs go, it's it's fine. It's nothing too out there, but it's not super generic either. Ooh, I saw her in the Awakened cinematic, actually. She actually has big fuck-all sword. Really cool hair. Gives me big lesbian vibes. She does not have a boyfriend, and that is a meme shit that caught on. Oh. Oh yeah, these are old. These are really old skins. Bonnie! I appreciate the Bonnie Girl skin. Battle Bunny Ribbon, that's from an anime. No, I don't know if she's gonna go into S, maybe? That one's really pretty. Gold, just gold. That is dope. You know, get more of these girls into KDA. People would like them more. Okay, those are really cute. I think Ribbon, I'm gonna put her in A. See how fucking furry the Yoru men are? I Look, League, either make everyone a Muppet or no one is a Muppet. Though others may scoff and sneer at his junkyard creations, Rumble doesn't mind. After all, he's the one with the temp with the flame spirit. Yeah, if you have a flame flower, you don't care what people say about you. Oh, Rumble in the jungle! That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh, that's adorable! That one I fuck with! I like that skin! That's so cute! Precious, precious. Space Group is probably my favorite skin set. That's his good lion skin. It's fucking great. You're gonna go... You're okay. No, guys, I put women in B or even C tier, I think. Like, they're, like it, no one is immune. A and S are the best tiers to be at. Burple, don't side-eye me, you piece of shit. Yes, you may judge me for my choices, because I don't care. Is this another monk? He was in one of Necrit's videos about Sona. He's from uh, Demacia, I do think, or something that something to do with Demacia. He's just an old-ass sage. Rise, widely considered one of the most adept sorcerers on of Runeterra, Rise is an ancient, hard-bitten, uh... He's from the Four Demacia. Oh, he's old. Old, old. With an impossibly heavy burden to bear, armed with immense arcane power and boundless constitution, he tirelessly hunts for world runes, fragments of the raw magic that once uh, shaped the world from nothing. He must retrieve these artifacts before they fall into the wrong hands, for Rise understands the horrors that they could unleash on Monterra. You can consider Rise the main character of League. He's named after the co-founder. I mean, he oh, deleted old. Oh, he's a daddy in his prime. Daddy! Yeah! Mirko! I mean, he's old, deleted old. He's grandpa now. Oh! He's got like five rewards. Jaeger, how do you know this? Look how fucking fun that is. I used to watch Pro League. Oh, okay. A lot. Because I've only watched a few pro matches myself. I barely understand League. Okay, this design is fucking cool. I would put him in Banger. Just for the very interesting backstory. Oh! Mommy! Mommy, 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 mommy! God! This is a character I don't know that much about her, but I'm obsessed with her because... Oh, mother. The t I don't know what it is. The eye patch, the tattoos, the fucking braid with, like, gold shit in it. I don't know, man. Like, she looks like she's already undressing me with her eyes and she likes what she sees. And that's just making me flustered. Like, please stop. I love her. The mole, yeah. Samira stares death in the eye with one eye. With unyielding confidence, seeking thrill wherever she goes. After the Shuriman home was destroyed as a child, Shurima found her true calling in Noxus, where she built a reputation as a stylish daredevil, taking on dangerous missions for the highest caliber of the higher caliber. Wielding a black uh, powder pistols and a custom engineered blade, Samira thrives in life or death circumstances, eliminating any who stand in her way with a flash and flare. Please just fuck me. Like, oh, Why? Why? I lo look. My body is ready! Leave me alone! Oh! Abs! 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 That's so cute. 
I love the space group skins. Oh god, she's so beautiful. Why doesn't this bitch have more skins? This is a crime. Oh, cat! Cat already with cat fucking- Even if it's fake cat ears, it looks like cat ears, I don't care. S. No, easy S. She's a newer character. She's hot. She looks like she's gonna fucking, like, fuck you over the bar and not even give a shit about it. Is this more tits? This feels like an older character, is it? Barbarian mo mummy. Yeah, this seems old. I like- I love her armor. Actually, I think she was in an old uh, cinematic or something. She's so fucking cool. Like, that's a really cool armor design, and I especially, especially like the boar, and the crystal blade is just- Sejuani is a brutal, unforgiving iceborne, uh, uh, warm mother of the Winter's Claw. One of the most feared tribes of the Freylord. Her people's survival is a constant, desperate battle against the elements, forcing them to raid Noxians, Damasians, and Avarosian alike to survive in the harsh winters. She is a viking. That's really pretty. Oh, that's much better. If this had been like her splasher, I would have immediately been like, yes, mommy. Boonga boonga me, mommy. Blaine, I don't need to know this. That's adorable. Dinosaur, oonga boonga. Oh, elf, yes. Oh my god, the pig! This one looks almost sinister, even if it's like solar. Oh, it's an eclipse, okay. Yes, queen, deserved. I'm gonna put you um, into the A tier, though. What about the fact that the female yordles have shit tons of porn? That doesn't surprise me. Senna! Oh, I mean, she was in true damage. This is a design that I actually love. She is from or around Bilgewater, I think. One of the coolest designs, I feel, uh, of the region, because, like, you can tell she's from Bilgewater, but it doesn't have, like, an overbearing pirate aesthetic. It's more like Caribbean fucking vibes. Uh, the leather suit is top tier. She's Damasian. Oh, wait, is she the wife of the dude? Oh, dang! Cursed from childhood to be haunted by the supernatural black mist. Isn't that from Bilgewater? Or from, like, the Ruined King? Senna joined the sacred order known as the Senti Sentinels of Light and fiercely fought back, only to be killed or sold imprisoned in, uh, in a lantern cruelly within Thresh. But refusing to lose hope, with her, uh, within the lantern, Senna learned to use the mist, and there redeemed her new uh, remerge into her new life, forever changed. Okay, but weirdly no mention of Lucian in her bio. That is very strange. She's a half ghost. Oh, Danny Phantom. Was just yes. and his parents built a very strange machine. Yeah, there's her true damage skin. Super sexy. Gold. That looks like Van Helsing. Oh, I love that. The Halloween skins are always fucking cute as fuck. Magical! Senna's design is actually one that I really like, so I'm gonna put her in S just because I really love her design. Seraphine! Holy fuck! Talk about a fucking controversial League character. Seraphine is one of those characters that, in theory, it's a pink thing. Looking at her, I should like but I don't. The reason I don't like Seraphine is because of the way that the fuck they fucking promoted her fucking character. This is a character that had like her own social media and was literally trying to play off the parasocial shit. I just remember looking at her social media because she had a Twitter. She's a part of KDA. And it was, I think, very tone deaf. Very, very tone deaf. Oh yeah, basically, she used mental illness as a marketing tool. Yeah, like, the fucking devs wanted to make her relatable, and instead of fucking doing something cute, they were just like, oh, I'm mentally ill, and that just put people off. It played into a very parasocial angle, and also used that, which is very unfortunate. So despite the fact that her design is fairly cute, the character itself is tone deaf to filth. Yeah, it was very parasocial. Her advertising, she was advertised to a very parasocial Twitter account, a design for KDA first and League second, releasing with a $20 skin. Ooh. Born in Poltover to, in Poltover to Zon's, uh, Zonite parents, Seraphine can hear the souls of others. The world sings to her, and she sings back. Through these sounds over, overwhelmed her in her youth, she now draws them out for inspiration, turning the, cha the chaos into a symphony. She only performs for the sister cities to remind their citizens that they're not alone, that they're always stronger together, and that in her eyes that potential is limitless. Oh, I heard actual character descriptions, actual. Like, so if you watched Arcane, you will know that the conflict between Piltover and Zon has been an ongoing horrific thing because Piltover, the people from Piltover have everything, literally everything. Like, Piltover and Zon is the most big city versus slum thing I've ever seen, especially in Arcane. So Seraphine being like, you're not alone, we're always together, while she grew up in an incredibly privileged environment is so fucking tone deaf. Yeah, no, Seraphine is gonna be fucking bottom tier out of principle. No one likes this character, it's incredibly tone deaf. It's so cute, but... God, I would not probably never work with Seraphine because like she gives me the ick. Like, is this the Legends of Runeterra design? This is the other artwork she has. It's very pretty. Like, this one feels more relatable. This one feels more like she has a personality. She's doing something while the other Seraphine is just like, oh my God, pop star energy. It would be much cuter if the character was not so tone deaf. It's like the millionaire Gara giving the homeless man a sandwich to make an Instagram post out of it. 
Oh god, yeah, absolutely. And like they really did use uh they really did use the mental illness thing, which is like so lame. That like again, it's such a shame. Because the character design is beautiful. No, the design is fucking great. Her writing is the thing that makes her a, a bottom tier character. So I'm sorry, Seraphine, but you give me ick, so I'm gonna put you in ew. Her original lore is stupid also. She literally created her music platform out of the materials and dangerous species of the Crystal Scorpion. You'll see it in a bit. She even asked Skarner to listen to her music, which basically listened to his own dead friend's cries. Ugh. Daddy! 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 The boss? Yes. I mean, the reason that there's not a girl, like, sucking his dick right now is because it's inappropriate for splash art. But that's the vibes that this dude is giving me. Giga Chad. The daddiest of daddies. Daddy. Daddy. Lily Jesus Christ. What? Tell me you can't see it! He's manspreading. That's daddy fight Raha. I can't stand it, side note, when people draw Raha as Twinkie, because if you look at his original model before Shadowbringers, he has buff fucking arms. Raha's built. A leader of Ionia's growing criminal underworld. Ugh, and he's mean. Set rose to prominence at the walks of war in with Noxus. Though he began as a humble uh, challenger in the fighting pits of uh, Navori, he quickly gained no uh, notoriety for his savage strength, daddy, and his ability to take seemingly endless amounts of punishment. Ugh, a switch, daddy. Now having climbed through the ranks of local uh, combatants, Set has muscled to the top, reigning over the pits he once fought into. Yes, Switch Daddy! Oh, I feel like Graha's a Switch too, I agree. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy! No. Yes. Gold. Yes! It's really swole, Graha. The pool party skins are the best! Uh, I love this. That's so cute. Oh! God, yes, right now. Yeah! I like the Soul Fighter ones. They feel very fighting gamey. I think that's what they were going for. S. You defroned my boy, uh, my boy Jace. He's a huge mama's boy and he doesn't even know about the crime. It's great. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Joker. I think I fought a boss like this in 14 once. Delete it old. That is, that looks super old. That looks like such old splash cards. <laughs> this man has no lore. Crafted long ago as a plaything for a lonely prince, the enchanted marionette Shako is now delights in murder and mayhem. Oh, uh, Basic murder clown, okay. Yeah, Kefka. That's just the Joker. Oh, that's tragic. The old skins are so bad. Oh, T-Pose for dominance. Oh my god, the fucking knife in his mouth. Edgy! Oh, so edgy! That one's the coolest design, I feel. That's so cool. That one looks kind of alien, almost. This- I don't- I would not want to run into this fucker. That one's really cool. King Joker vibes, yeah. I, I kind of dig the- I kind of dig the, the some of these skins, yeah. Oh! The age of the Clussy has begun. It just, it's, 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 it's meh. Shen! Oh, another ninja. Oh, wow. How fucking inspiring. <laughs> Amongst the secretive ninja, Naoni ninja. Is it, wait, isn't this Akali's teacher? Yeah, like, he seems like an older character because he's mentioned very briefly in Akali's lore. Ice ninja. Yellow ni Mexico filter ninja. Why? Why? Akali nurse, nurse in the background! Akali, no! This one is not even a ninja. This just went straight up edgelord. Zamurai. I mean, Iron Man? An evil ninja. Just very meh. Maybe the real ninjas were the friends we made along the way. Do not ban Mikal. Oh, who? I know her. Dragon Pussy. I know this one. She was in the Mage Seeker. So Jarvin was fucking this. And then he was like, fuck magic. And she was like, you know what? You don't get no none more of this ass anymore. And she fucking dipped. What a cool looking design though. Like the skin color, the kind of scaly appearance, the helmet. Even the fucking, like, color scheme of, like, the red gold versus really stark purple skin. She looks like she is a dragon in human form. If only, like, I love the way that the Fire Emblem uh, mannequins are made, don't get me wrong. Like, I love the, foofy, the, the, the the pointy ears, but this would also look very cool. No! No! I want Dragon Usi. Yes, better. No. 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 Okay, acceptable. The master needs to chill the fuck out. Okay, you you go you go into you go into S because I know this character. Like the characters that I've known from other league games get an, an unfair advantage because I do like them. You're going to go into S. Oh, you're an arcane. We are supersonic raising. Get fucked. Singe is a Zonai alchemist of unmatched intellect who has devoted his life to pushing the boundaries of knowledge. This is the guy who fucked up uh, Jinx forever, by the way. Like she was already bad, but the reason Jinx is the way she is is because of him. RUN! The skin fits the music perfect. Can you imagine him nooming at like fucking supersonic speed? Oh, Bad. C bad. Why? No. 
No. Just make him better skins. That's better. The Plague Doctor aesthetic fits him very well. Why? Amgi and Dom. The fucking song, though. Singe, I'm gonna put him in what? Because, like, I don't quite get his design, but I do like him in Arcane. This is the asshole who, who fucked up Jinx forever, so fuck him. Oh, big buff, dude. This reminds me of the guy from Outlast. Pain Train incoming! A war hero from a bygone era. Scion was rever uh, revered in Noxus for ch uh, choking the life out of a Damascian king with his bare hands. Jesus. But denied oblivion. He was resurrected to serve his empire even in death. Noxus, we need to have a chat. That thing on his jaw, that's Jarvan of the Second's Crown. Oh, jeez. Oh! Uh, yes-ish? No! He's very upset. I swear to god, there's characters in League that they just make these skins to make them look like other characters in, in League that already look like this. Um, I don't really care for this character. I'm just, ew. Ooh, abs! Ooh, abs. Wonder Woman, but with abs. I really wish that the dancer class in 14 could have weapons that big. <laughs> I love the blades. I don't know how you would not chop your fucking arm off uh, using that, but it looks dope. Color scheme is beautiful. The hair is everything. It would get. I would chop it off with that fucking blade immediately. Kind of Sumeru vibes almost, but sexier. Because Genshin doesn't let anything be sexier than have, like, booty shorts. Severe is a renowned fortune hunter and mercenary captain who... Uh, Flies her trade in the desert of Shuriba. Armed with the legendary uh, jeweled crossblade, she has fought and won countless battles for those who can afford her exorbitant price. So she's a merc. That's like that girl Birdman has a crush on. Oh! Would Birdman fuck her? Because I can see that happening. No. Oh, sadness. Oh, she's descendant? Maybe? Oh, who knows? Okay, so they're, they're related, but very far away. She's a merc? Yeah, I think so. A merc doesn't have to kill people, fun fact. A merc is just someone who does things. Oh, old. Delete it old. That looks like fucking, uh, what was her name? What was her name? The Warrior Queen. Xena. Yeah, that one. Delete it old. Very sexy, though. These are, so, like, this one's not as old, but still old. Oh, that's better. Updated art style. Tits. I mean, that just looks like she fucking, like, r fell right out of Tron. Why? I love that, but why? <laughs> Is that a fire extinguisher exploding in the background? <laughs> I think that, like, the joke skins are the best skins. Oh, that's so fucking cute. Nah. I like the Cafe Cutie set. I think that they're all very charming. Oh, that's so pretty. Where are the tits at? I would put Severe in A. Gardner. Oh, another thing that's gross. Skarner is an immense crystalline scorpion from a hidden valley in Shurima. Part of the ancient uh, Bracken race, uh, Skarner and his kin are known for their great wisdom and deep connection to the land. And their souls are fused with powerful crystals which hold the living thoughts and memories of their ancestor. And the, as the only Bracken awake, he strives to protect his kind from those who would seek to harm them, like Seraphine. He's also got a full rework, by the way. Everybody, everything here is about to change completely. Oh! It's just a big scorpion. What is it? What? Okay, it's our girl. It's time for our girl. It's time for the Miku Hatsune of the Aegis. Okay, Soda is actually a character, a lead character I have drawn a fair amount of times for two reasons. One, fat tits. Two, she's fucking precious. Like, she's one of my characters. Like, I've actually researched her lore extensively. I love her musical in instrument, it's called an Etwa, and it's stupid as fuck. She's originally from Ionia, but she lives in Demacia, she is mute. But she does have voice lines, which are like, uh, uh, thoughts, you could say? Right on cue. I would like to work with her more, because look at the tits, mama! Sona might actually be my favorite Lee character, just because she's so fucking pretty. Sona is Demacia's foremost virtuoso of the stringed Etwa. Speaking only through her graceful chorus and vibrant arias, this gentle, uh, gentle manner has ende endeared her to the highborn. Though others suspect her spellbinding melodies to actually emanate magic, they do. At the Massian Taibu. Silent to, outright, uh, to outsiders, but somehow understood by close companions, Sona plucks her harmonies not, not only to soothe injured allies, but also to strike down unsuspecting enemies. I love Sona so much. She's so beautiful. So Sona was like went to Demacia, and then she returned to Ionia at the time, and then she's, like, back. She's, like, on the run now. Generic. It's heavy metal! I- okay, Carol Sona is very cute. Beautiful. Arcade is so fucking pretty, but they nerfed her tits. This one is, like, Miku, like, deadass. That one looks kind of sinister, but it's still Sona, so it's fine. There she is, next to the daddy! Dark Guardian Sona is fucking adorable. Look at those glasses. Look at the mouse. Oh, that's so fucking beautiful! Oh, that's probably the coolest one. Yeah, Sona's S tier, and actually Sona is gonna go, like, on top. Like, she's probably my favorite lead character, besides Ari and Misfortune. Oh, this one's adorable! It's kind of like a unicorn! Bastaya, probably, though, but this one feels like she climbed the mountain. 
You are officially valid. Thank you for the bits. I was already valid. A wanderer from the celestial dimensions beyond Mount Targon. I knew it! She climbed the mountain! And for all Soraka, uh, so, Soraka has uh, seen of this world's struggles, she still believes that the people of Runeterra have yet to reach their full potential. I like this whole, like, half-unicorn star child aesthetic. It's like the fucking horse gacha, but cuter. Oh, that's so pretty. That looks more elf than unicorn, but I, I'm, I'm down. This one just seems mean. Oh, where is she? Oh, she's, in the, she's there. Is the horn going through her hat? Please say yes. What is it with the program skins? They're all so weird. Oh, that one's probably- Oh my god, that's her? I knew this character solely from the Star Guardian skins and nothing else. I knew this character from the Star Guardians because I was like, which one's the one with the green hair and the cute animal ears and the horn? I didn't know she was like an actual, like she, I thought that like, I should, you know, I never knew which character she was. That's so fucking cute. She's fucking precious. That one is so ethereal and magical evil. I love the Star Guardian one so much. Oh, Cafe Cuties is so, so fucking adorable. Is that an ice cream cone on her head? Fuck. It looks like it, but no. Oh, like, like the more Asian goddess e skins that they've been doing lately are so fucking pretty. I, yeah, S. I know her because of the Star Guardian one. You're going S. Uh, do with an arm. Lucius Malfoy. Hi, Father. It is the daddy. No, we do not. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, old man. Yeah. Big man of Nox is, oh, is he in charge? Is he the big honcho? Jericho Swain is the visionary ruler of Noxus. An expansionist nation that reveres only strength, though... He was cast down and crippled in the Ionian Wars. His left arm severed. He seized control of the Empire with ruthless determination. And, new dem with a, and a new demonic hand. Now Swain commands uh, the, from the front lines. Marching against a co uh, coming darkness that can only be seen in glimpses gathered by shadowy ravens from the corpses all around him. In a swirl of sacrifices and secrets. The greatest secret of all is that the true enemy lies within. Wood. That one looks older for some reason. Why is it deleted old? Oh! Okay, this is just different characters now. That one's amazing. <gasps> Evil daddy. Yes, daddy! God! Uh, I like the demon hand changes color. This is just a different character. It's so easy to draw men because you can give them way more features than women. Why are you making just the different characters? Daddy, uh, a banger. Banger design, banger character. Oh, S immediately! S immediately! It's my boy! Wood, Wood, absolutely Wood! Silas, I love him. If you play play the Mage Seeker if you haven't already, it's so fucking good. It paints him in such a much better light than he has. So Silas in traditional League lore is bad guy. He has a good reason though, fuck Demacia. Uh, but I love him so much. Like, magic terrorist man! He's so fucking good! I love Silas. The Unshackled? Yeah, baby boy, baby. The only bad thing about Silas is that he did not a bad thing to Lux. To save his own skin, but still bad, mean. Raised in one of Demacia's lesser quarters, Silas of Dra uh, Dragonborn has come, sim uh, has come to symbolize the darker side of the great city. As a boy, his uh, ability to root out hidden sorcery caught the attention of the notorious Mage Seekers, who eventually imprisoned him for turning those same powers against them. He accidentally killed people. Having now broken free, Silas lives a, uh, hard as a hardened revolutionary, using the magic of those around him to destroy the kingdom he once served. And and his band of outcast mage followers seem to grow by the day. Oh, they do acknowledge it then. Okay, nice. Lily, I'm sick of all this 14 music. If evil, why hot? Play the mage seeker, it's worth it. Oh, daddy! I mean, I like the fucking future chains. Gold. He doesn't have that many skins. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, you, S, S tier, daddy. S tier, baby boy. Syndra. Oh, another good one. This one seems like old artwork, but the fucking design is top notch. Just like a fucking tight outfit with a bodysuit and like the socks. I've used this for Pokemusu references before as well. Can't quite piece who. Oh, wait, no, I used her for Mewtwo, actually. Yeah, I did. She has such a fucking cool design. The mask she has kind of reminds me of Midna's, but like much smaller. Sandra is a fearsome Ionian mage with incredible power at her command. As a child, she disturbed the, villi the village elders but with her reckless and wild magic. She was sent away to ta be taught greater control, but eventually discovered her supposed mentor was restraining her abilities. Forming her feelings of betrayal and hurt into dark spheres of energy, Sandra has sworn to destroy all who would try to control her. I mean, I do not blame her. Yeah, Sandra was one of the what was one of the references for Mewtwo. There were several, but she was one of them. Yeah.
Oh, I love that. I love that. She's just there looking fucking evil. Snowball. Dude, that's so- Wait. Why not just flip it? I can't see the character. Oh, the pool party skins are the best. Oh, pink thing. That kind of looks like a yaka. Syndra, I actually have used you for work before, S tier. You know how much effort it takes to flip an image? Like two whole clicks at least, I know, right? Ugh, a frog? A more ball without more ball? Wood. Wave, no! Wave, no! What do you mean, wood? Wave. No! Wave, bad. Though he may appear singularly charming and proud, he swaggers through the physical realm like a bag of bond in search of unsuspecting prey. His lashing tongue can stun even a heavily armored warrior from a dozen paces. And to fall into his crumbling belly is to tumble into an abyss from which there is little hope to return. I mean, boar? Boar. Wave, you're into boar? Master Chef. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> ah! No, I was just going off based off design. Yeah, I don't want to get bored. Very, very meh for me, though. Wave confirmed to be Uwu Boar. I did not! Mr. Electric, send him to the principal's office and have him expelled! Oh, Talia, this is one of- I think Scruffy really likes uh, her, actually. Big eyebrows! Big, big eyebrows. Big Earthbender vibes. Super fucking cute. One of the most unique faces for women in League of Legends, I would say. I have drawn her before, I think. Not for not safe for work, though. I think it was a safer work piece. But I do remember working with Talia at some point, because I remember those eyebrows. I would not forget those eyebrows. I can't remember uh, if I have it anywhere, because it's probably it probably got lost in the great PC crash of 2020, but... I did draw Talia before. Google turns up zero resolve. I think it's lost of time. It might be lost of time because it was a calm. I don't remember posting it. Pool party? Oh, look how cute she is. So many of these girls have magical girl skins now. Beautiful. I would put her in A. There's 96 pages on the Gourmation Tumblr page. I'm going in, lads. Oh, we'll have fun, bro. Maybe that's how I drew that how I drew it, but I do remember drawing Talia. Talon! The dude is so edgy, you need to wear safety goggles. I like him. The try-hard edgelord. He is try-hard edgelord. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. I feel that. I, I feel it in my bones. If I get close to him, I'm gonna get a paper cut. Oh, sad. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's... I'm sorry. I'm sure you did a great job at the time because I feel like the skin is old, but whoever drew this, this is bought. Also, not great. A little better, still not great. Much better. Oh, elf. Look at him. Yeah, that's much better. Spooky, scary. Yeah, this dude has real edgy. Um, your design is cool, though. I'm gonna put you in Coolio. All right, Tariq. Oh my god, uh, Fabio! It's Fabio! It's Fabio! Guys, it's Fabio! Wave, put up a picture. It's Fabio. It does look like Nicolas Cage a little bit, yeah. This is like the beast as a human at the end of Beauty and the Beast. I'm gonna look at his old splash art. Oh my god, like... This is... This is bad. This is like gay Mega Man with a shield and a big hammer and fuzzy leg warmers. It's like, this is delete a gay. This is delete a gay. It's so bad. Uh, bad box art Fabio. Yeah, the, I prefer the new one. I prefer new Fabio. It's so bad. Uh, what is that face? Someone that doesn't know how to paint digitally. Why is he wearing leg warmers? The real question is why is he fu wearing fuzzy leg warmers? That's the fucking question. <laughs> Tatric is the aspect of the protector. Oh, he's he climbed the mountain. Okay. Wielding incredible power as Runeterra's guardian of life, love, and beauty. So, Fabio. Green Fabio! This is the new crystal skin. This is the deleted gay. He has the fuzzy leg warmers. We're going to a gay rave right now. Yes. Yes, queen! Yes. Peak comedy. I love it. Fucking lifeguard Fabio. Dear fucking god. This man, this man isn't gonna go rescue someone from drowning. Uh, he's, he's, he's gonna go fucking like, he, someone's wearing an ugly swimsuit. That's what he's running towards. He has to save them from themselves. Oh my God, is that all the girls like, woo! <laughs> I love that. Is Fabio the guy from Zoolander? You're way too young for this. So back in the day before people had like Kindles and stopped reading a ton of books, people still read books obviously, but not as much as before. There were like raunchy romance novels, and all of them had this dude on the cover called Fabio, who looked exactly like this guy. Hold on, let me get y'all a picture of Fabio. This is Fabio. How do you explain? It makes me feel. It makes me feel old. How do you think I feel? My aunt had a couple. Like honest to God, all of like the trashy romance novels of like the 80s and 90s have had this fucking dude on the cover. <laughs> He's just Fabio. It's just Fabio. He has the hair, he has the chest, he's coming to bang your mom, yeah. It's the book that the lonely housewife uh, diddled herself to because her husband worked all day. Fabio, banger. 
I'm gonna finish this row before I finish the stream. Timo! Look how cute he is. This is a Yordle. It, it, it's furry as fuck, but it's a Yordle. The devil. What? What do you mean the demon? What do you guys hate this? The devil himself. Why? He's he's cute. El Diablo Moncas. Evil incarnate. Why? It's so cute. Oh, he's really annoying gameplay wise. Oh, okay, so toxic player. Got it. Flintless is everyone fucking lose it at a fucking cat. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. He plays in the jungles. He's the fucking gank. Undeterred by even the most dangerous and threatening of obstacles, Timo scouts and uh, the world with boundless enthusiasm and cheerful spirits. A yordle with an unwavering sense of morality. He takes pride in following the uh, the Bandle Scouts code. Oh, I have the hiccups. Fuck. Sometimes with such engagements that he is un eagerness that he's un uh, unaware of the broader consequences of his actions. Though some uh, say the existence of the scout is questionable, one thing is for certain: Timo's conviction is nothing to be trifled with. He's the only champ that can be invisible and leaves fucking. Mushrooms that are invisible around the map. Oh, no way. He's a ganker. This guy is Satan himself. Look at him. He's so cute, though. Look at that waddle. It's so cute, though. Ew, it looks like Louie. It's just like a little puppy. Why do you guys hate it so much? And this crit and this abomination. Why do you guys hate Timo so much? It's just cute. Oh, that's adorable. Aww. His abilities are one, make your attack miss. Two, poison. Three, run faster than you can. Four, invisible AoE mines. Devil. Oh, look at him. He's so cute, Ebo Timo. This is what you guys see, and I see just the puppy. I would punch him for free. I love how fucking... When the chat gets this passionate about a character, you guys either really love it or really fucking hate it. Is that what you guys see when you see Timo? If when you play against him, you hate him. I don't fucking play League. I value my sanity. Look how cute that is. Aww. That's adorable. Aww. What a cute Yordle. Oh, that's so cool. I love the, the fucking space group skins. His skins are amazing. I like your design. You're going in Coolio. Guys, we only have a few characters left to go through, but there's no time to do that today. So, the last three rows will have to be for another stream. Maybe we can do it on Sunday or something. I'll figure something out. He's legitimately a cute character. It just happens to be incredibly annoying. <laughs>